What's up guys? This is Jay from the Game Chasers and you are watching Do You Nerd? Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for, well, you know, I mean, conventions, video games, toys, comics, pickups, fellowship? Well, nerdlings, when we made our trip up to St. Charles for Mo Game Con, we had a nice, fairly leisurely drive up yep. there. Maybe we stopped off to get some treats at one get point. Get some candy! The big candy factory! Yay, candy! Hands on the wheel! <laughs> on the road of life, stop for... Candy! So this candy shop, it's a lot of fun. Typically, if we're going up to the St. Louis area, we mm -hmm. will stop in just to find some good snacks for the road. I got me a huge thing of chocolate covered gummy bears, which is my favorite treat ever. So once we rolled into the hotel, we did get there early, but they were nice enough to let us go ahead and check in. We had brought quite a few things we with did. us just to be prepared. I got that rolling card. I put those Tetris skills to the test. However, we discovered it was only a two-story hotel and there was no elevator. I so. got to roll it in and <laughs> we then rolled, we carried everything What did we roll it? About 50 feet? Ma if that. If <laughs> and then we basically pack horsed it up the stairs. Well, we were the first to arrive, so we got nice and settled into the hotel, got everything unpacked, got the, uh, the mini fridge stocked pretty well to keep everything nice and cold for the guys. And, you know, we took a little bit of time to just kind of relax, compose. Before we knew it, there, there was, was a knock at the door. There was. Now... I was trying to surprise her with some male strippers, and the surprise was all mine when it turned out to be gaming off the grid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're not actually strippers, I think. <laughs> so Robert and Wes, they were there with uh, their pal Brian Newland, and they came in. We had a good time just hanging out in the room, talking. It was really funny because we were a little bit nervous about meeting these guys for the first time. Except it didn't feel like we met them for no, the first time. No, it didn't. We they came in, we offered them chairs, they sat down, and we just chatted like we had been, we had seen each other for years and decades. Yeah. And now those gaming off the grid guys, they are fine gentlemen because when they came to our room, they came bearing gifts. They loaded us up with some new beers from the Iowa area for us to try, and we love trying new things. Yes. And holy cow, I mean, they they had us set they up. Did. We were good to go for a while. However, when BK came and joined the party, oh, geez, we thought we were doing good we before. Did. This guy, he's got like cases upon beer, and he's like, hey, check all of this out. And uh, the fun thing about the cases, the box art. Yes, we absolutely love that fun pinup box art and everything. We like to collect those six pack boxes, and so he did not disappoint at all. He even surprised me further by bringing a little gift for the collection. So this is the Legend of Zelda BS. <laughs> it's not that BS. Well, this okay. is for the Satella view. <laughs> uh, so these, of course, were the games that were released, you know, over the air for a limited time. And this is put on a nice cartridge. So now I can play it anytime I want. And the funny thing is, I mean, I had no idea that he was bringing this. Yeah, we didn't know. He just surprised us. And I've actually wanted this for quite some time. So... It's like, it's like he could read your mind. He's, he's in my head. We were not going to sit around that hotel all evening. We needed some food. We were hungry. Hey, where did we go? We went to Llewellyn's. Oh, she got it. I, I couldn't have got that. <laughs> go! Julie, Video me. Inception. I know. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> Wait, why am I on this side if you're on that... Wait a second. <laughs> That's where we met up with another friend of Got G's. This was Mr. Brosman, Robert. Brosman, as he likes to call him. <laughs> Everyone, I think, they partook in some kind of drink. I think mm -hmm. we all got beers. You got a I nice little cocktail. I got a nice little cocktail. cocktail. Uh, and then Wes actually treated 
everyone who wanted one to another cocktail. Pretty good. The food was really good. It was really too. good. It was an English European pub. There was no stress to hurry up and get somewhere uh -uh. next, you know. Nope, we didn't uh, have anywhere to be that night. Yeah, so. definitely a benefit to a one day convention was that we had this time together. Like, <laughs> hey, tell you what, why don't you get that camera out of my face? Well, there was one place that we wanted to be, and that was Two Plumbers. Now, I believe last year, Robert and Wes had found this place, and yes. they absolutely loved it. It was kind of weird to me that we had never discovered Two Plumbers, because you and I have been to St. Louis a couple of times before, and, you know, St. Peter's is just a suburb of St. Louis. Right. So I was kind of shocked that we'd never found this place before. There's a Molly crew if I ever saw one. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, 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 wow. oh, And when we got there, who did we meet up with? Well, 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 the we got, legend. We got oh, how's it going? Nice to finally yeah, you see you in person. <laughs> we met up with the captain himself. And this was also our first time meeting in person Mr. Captain Algebra. Yeah, but you know what? As soon as we walked up to him, he came over to us. There were handshakes, there were hugs. Again, it was like, oh, hey, you're in town. Let's hang out. Not a, uh, hey, nice to meet you for the very first time ever. Let's go be lives. awkward for a couple of hours. Do <laughs> no. I know what my first impression of Got G was? They were really tall. Do I know what my first impression of Captain Algebra was? I bet I could guess. He was even taller. Come down here to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Down to my> level. <laughs> <laughs> so inside Two Plumbers, they do make their own beer there, and it was very fun because a lot of their beers had themed drink names. Yeah, that was cool. And we always love that about barcades. Mm. Healing Potion Red Ale. Mm -hmm. Of course, right up front, you could see all the tanks and everything Which to that know was that they were legit. Really cool. The neat thing on the outside, I mean, it was like in a glass enclosure, so like even if you didn't go in, you could sit there and see the tanks and watch them prepare stuff. So that was really, really cool. I like it when breweries do that. Someone's getting tanked in there. And inside, of course, you can't be a barcade without a pretty awesome arcade. They had a nice long wall of pinball machines, oh, table yeah. upon mm -hmm. table. I saw an Elvira one in there that looked pretty cool. And they had some really great arcade machines as well. Of course, Gatji wanted to start things off right with some House of the Dead. They got everybody to play it at Teaming. some point. But you and I, they had us teaming yes. up to take that game down. Yeah, at first I didn't want to play because I was nervous about people seeing me play because I'm horrible at light guns. But I went ahead and did it and we beat them. And speaking of knocking games out, Cap got in, BK got in, and Wes took down Alien vs. Predator. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that the guy said Cap was this close to no death running that game too. A game he's never played before, but hey. That's one of the mega powers for you. Almost there, almost there, guys. Almost there. Four oh, hits. Boom! Oh, he did it. Boom! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> They had some tables set up in there, and that was super convenient because they had a wall. 
of tabletop games. That was really nice to see. And something that I thought was really cool is, you know, they've got the games for you to play in the back, but they didn't care if you brought in your own food. I saw people coming in, grabbing games off there, and they brought in like Papa John's pizza or whatever, <laughs> and you know, just sitting down in the middle, and they were nice long tables, and just playing board games, just having a good, you know, fellowship of their own. So some weird things about the arcade though, Super Mario Brothers playing it in an arcade, that's rough, trying to use a joystick and a couple of buttons. And on top of that, the levels are different. So like, it's kind of Super Mario Brothers, but then it's not. And then I got to play an arcade Dr. Mario, which was fun up until you realize that it was timed and you can control how fast you drop the pills, but once you've made a pill disappear, you can't control how fast that drops. I'm out of time. Oh, well. So I died pretty damn quick and I shouldn't have. We wrap things up at Two Plumbers. We headed back to the hotel. We grabbed some uh, of the beers that we brought from mm -hmm. our local brewery, such yes. as Springfield Brew Co. and Mothers. Mm -hmm. And we met up with Got G in their room. I just went 3-0 against Robert. No, there's no proof. And that's when we uh, did a little gift exchange. We did do a little bit of gift exchange. Oh, okay. Okay. They've already beers. released the pumpkin beers. We put the beers kind of in the middle because we didn't really know who liked what and whatever. So we just bought a bunch of beers, kind of a, set them in the middle, and we said, all. free for all. Dibs on everything. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yes. We called, we called it. Oh, we called there's some mother stuff right. in there. Oh, mother loving. There was one beer in particular that a couple people all had their eye on. Do you remember that one? It was a coffee stout. Uh-huh. So there oh the different coffees are listed. Cap and BK both wanted the coffee beer. <laughs> so Cap goes, hey, let's play for it. Dude, that is all I do for it. It's smashed. I will lose. It's smashed. Right. So BK says, all right, sits down. Mind you, BK had never played <laughs> Smash Brothers before. And so Cap, he goes, I don't know how to play. And Cap goes, just push this one button right here. That's it. That's how bad Cap wanted that one. <laughs> yeah. And he wiped the floor with him. I'm sorry, BK. We also made sure that everybody there who wanted one got one of our special dust sleeves, courtesy of Chris, over at Video Game Dust Sleeves. Holy hell. I, I love the, I really like the Dewey Nerd in the background. Mm -hmm. And then since this is Mo Game Con 2019, we talked to Chris. Oh about my god, dude. Some of these. That's and awesome. And we'll have to get a proper marker, but there's no yeah. to sign them on the back. Dude, we gotta get That's bad. That's uh, some fun things for Got G. Since you've been playing. The newest one, I thought, the oh, original. Oh, fuck that's yeah. awesome. And if you already have it, that's, that's fine. We have the 360 one, but we played the PS2, and it's in the garage, and our 360 yes. is it. That's so awesome. this yes, is my like perfect, perfect garage. So, nice. Yes. Thank Absolutely. You so much. Holy cow, man. Thank you. We brought some fun things for Cap. Maximo Army of Sin. Oh, oh man. Thank you. I know that you've been Captain, having... wasn't that on your <laughs> list? It was. Number one. Oh, and you've awesome. been having so much fun streaming the original. Yeah. So oh, I can't wait to see Thank you so much. Oh, your personal collection too. Wow. Man, is it is it uh, allergies? What? <laughs> that's not crazy. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Thank you. But I figured you guys needed the Mega Powers Month. Oh my and, god. And uh the black. Oh, oh nice. nice. That is, the back is oh, freaking right? sick. Where do we go put in this one though? Tom Alacy. That's pretty good. Yes. Was Thank you. I don't think yeah. like, it was one it got you. Yeah, all the glares. Can't nice. get that anywhere nice. except the sky. Why do you call him Captain Redbeard? That's just, that's that's that is exactly. That was like, very nice. Thank you. Like, oh, you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't even think I've had the kid calls. But like these red ones are here. Those are here. Now that you guys are done, <laughs> from my personal collection, he's pulling it out of his butt. Right <laughs> <laughs> it makes it worth more money. 
Custom case. Gremlins oh, 2. Shit. Was that also on your list, Captain? It was. Yeah, you were telling <laughs> no, that's me two that. out of five. Wow. Man, these allergies. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, medicine. thank you guys. I need some medicine. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's, get some, let's get some medicine. We had some shot glasses that kind of went all around the room to make it official oh, toast. It's called Mama Juana. Mama Juana. Medicinal. <laughs> Gaming Off The Grid actually did a sh fairly short live stream, I think about a 30 minute one. Mm -hmm. uh, there were some technical issues right at the beginning with the sound. You got to see all of us having just a blast. A lot of fun. And yeah. uh, it really is a shame that it could have gone on longer. Do we have a map I think I'm 15 and one on that. <laughs> and the one is top. But what should we start? Is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the button. What's a good uh, it's sure. it is on. weird. He goes and trying to put, dude, look at dude. They're trying to come in the picture and, <laughs> and hey. out. They're trying to outstream us. What the <laughs> hell are they doing? Yeah, you could be a professional wrestler. Ladies, I'm already taken. <laughs> oh, so oh wow. Rub that nips. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I don't like this. Ryan, I don't like this. Wasty, wasty oh, yeah. now. Okay, that was a bad. <laughs> do you guys, do you guys want a calendar? I mean, a Gachi calendar? Maybe. Yeah, dude, can we can we make a Gachi? That'd be a good investment. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that oh, is another right, piece of merch. Sweet. It's Dave, Dave. What's up, buddy? What's up, y'all? Oh, B nine B nine Y. G nine word. G nine Y. What's Brian? I don't know what you're saying. G nine Y. You mean like T nine, like the way you used to type back in the day when texting? Oh no! Oh, no. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Get it, please. 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 Get it, he cheated. I, I used shrooms <laughs> on the cap. That's my weakness. Shrooms. Who would have thought? Hey, this is a fair and square beat, it was. not that was fair a square. stage beat. That, that was not a stage beat like what? Scott. Well, as the mom and dad of YouTube, we were the ones that left the room first. We wanted to get some sleep. I didn't want to really look like a Night of the Living Dead for our panel, so. <laughs> but we had to get up early. Mo Game Con was Saturday, and hopefully you watch the video of our floor tour and experience there. When we got back to the hotel, we had some dinner plans already set up, but Lady Lacey was looking around for some game stores. We hit up Slackers, and this was a very fun store. Oh my gosh, I wish we had a Slackers here. This store was so cool. I was shocked. It was in the mall, so I, I was kind of worried about that. What's wrong with this mall? There are no inns, there are no fortresses. How am I supposed to Harry Potter? However, this was like all the best parts of a retro gaming store, a place like Vintage Stock, a place like Hot Topic, but then, even better, it didn't have those mall prices. No. We are talking everything from comic books, From music to movies. To toys. Board games. I find toys.
anything that you were yeah. looking for, you were likely to find there. And in fact, we found some nice we pickups. We did find some Ladies nice first. Well, the first thing I found is I love my squishies. I found squishies. So I found some fun Space Invader squishies, which will go great in the collection. Since they had comics, of course I was going to look for my Spider-Gwen because I feel like I've exhausted all of my Springfield options. So I found Retro Spider-Gwen number 4. I found Gwenum Spider-Man number 26 and number 27, which is pretty awesome. And then the one I was actually the most excited about is because I missed this one in the new run of the Ghost Spider, Spider-Gwen Ghost Spider number 8. I don't know how I missed number 8, but I have all of them but this one. I got one for Illusion of Gaia, one of my favorite games. And uh, what was nice was typically they would put a sticker on here to let you know if the poster or any of the extra stuff was inside or not. And they seemed to price it accordingly. Nice. And then I picked up this one just because uh, there's no poster, but it was also a buck ninety nine for a Can't Nintendo Power any day of the week. I buy that for a buck ninety nine. The next one, I'm not sending it to you, pal, but I did get it in honor of Cap. Super C. Now this is a, a very early issue of Nintendo Power because it is still when they were doing the two months. So this is May and June of 1990. It does have the poster and it's got the top secret in there as well. So for my wait, big wait, wait, wait. fun... Now I want to show off my toy. Oh, okay. It's my turn. Toys. I got um, this really cool toy and it was actually on sale for a buck ninety nine. even though I didn't know who she was. She was pretty cool. Silver Fox. I just thought she was really kind of neat looking. I liked her like incredibly deep green eyes. There she is in all of her little green glory and nice. she's got that epic 80s fake velvet cape on that a lot of the bad guys would have on there. And it does come off a little velcro. Woo! Woo! She's naked! No, she's not. Comes with a gun. And she comes with a card of Bloodhawk. Do you know who Bloodhawk is? Yes. He was a hawk made entirely out of blood. I don't think so. Bloodhawk is from the Savage Land. I read the back of the card. All right. So my big find at Slackers, aside from the Nintendo Powers, I found an issue of the Nintendo Fun Club News. I have never seen one of these out in the wild. So the moment I saw this, I knew I was picking it up. Even better than that, was the fact that there were two of them and this one has Link from Zelda 2 on it. I was so excited to add these to the collection. Now didn't you say these were the precursor to the Nintendo Power? Yes ma'am. That they yeah. are. So cool. These are going to be really neat to take a look at. I got one last thing and it was kind of a big thing and Mr. Tom here is the one who actually turned me on to these really cute creatures and I actually even crocheted him a little tiny one. Somebody found a new friend. I did. Isn't he adorable? He's just a big giant slime and he feels really, he's like really squishy and like it's kind of like almost like a faux like suede feeling material. But isn't he just adorable? I love him. Literally two stores down was vintage stock. Now we weren't that excited about it because we've got a vintage stock here. No offense to vintage stock, but we've seen it. It wasn't too bad. It was two stories. We didn't expect right. that. They definitely had a lot of stuff there. Fabulous. Even though me and the guys didn't find anything, of course you managed I to find something. Did. I found me Spider Gwen number three, Spider Gwen number five. Always love these covers. Spider Gwen by the way. number two and Spider Gwen number seven. So yeah, so excited to add to the collection.
the last thing that I found there real quick, and nerdlings, I'm going to need some help because I have no idea who she is. <laughs> but she looked really, really cool. Her outfit was cool. I liked her red hair. And it's doing some weird, like, wind blowy thing going on here. All I can say about her is she has Red Sonia's bra, and I think she spilled some pizza on her waist. Or maybe she melted some gummy bears on her belt or something. I don't know. She's got Jean Grey's, like, weird, like, headband whole head neck thingy going on there she's cool looking so please nerdlings tell me who she is we had spent enough time shopping at the mall it was time to get some food yes we were starving we found a nice little pub called big a's down on the riverfront we got a table in the back kind of kept it all to ourselves uh -huh. and uh we had a really nice meal there we did uh, i bought everyone a round of drinks we got we all ordered dinner and we all actually almost every single one of us ordered the beer cheese burger and it was amazing and it was a really clever idea because they used an onion ring to hold this liquid beer cheese in there robert got a, a sandwich and they had with the barbecue sauce had written big a's on it which i thought was really neat it was really cool but we just spent the night just chatting and enjoying some beers honestly moments like this were probably some of the best moments of going up to st charles and the surrounding area and being there for mo game con because just that fellowship time mm -hmm. you know talking to everyone we spent the time talking about the pickups that we had got from mo game con mm -hmm. and just sharing our experiences and our stories meeting up with people there talking to other youtubers and it was a lot of fun it is really really hard to try to tell you guys the emotions that we were feeling and putting them into words it was just an incredible sorry magical time in my opinion of just enjoying everyone's company and there was a part of me that was kind of sad though because i knew we were all going home the next day so it was we just had a blast and after we got done eating we all went back to our cars and actually did go back to our hotel and we decided to play some six player smash <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun too and uh, i think everyone took a win once in a while uh, i don't I, know i might how. have even got one myself yeah, i don't know how uh, but i got one. one in there and it literally that's i think that's exactly what i said too i was like how am i still alive in the winter <laughs> i think it was because i was too busy i was playing as the villager and i was too busy planting trees over in the corner <laughs> i think that's how i survived we uh were cracking up by the robertisms oh my that he gosh. was making that guy had what us rolling all night oh. sheboygan or something like that i will say that there was a little less energy in the room because you yeah, could tell we everybody was exhausted so sunday morning while we were having our breakfast uh we did make some plans for that day after packing up we went game hunting. The first night we got there, when we went to Llewellyn's, we had passed a Goodwill. So I told the guys, I was like, hey, we usually have some good luck with our Goodwills at home, so let's hit the Goodwill first. Hashtag, I look like a dumbass. There it is. <laughs> 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 And I think both of us found some fun stuff. Uh, kind of fun. I'm kind of liking these pirate ships. Like, you're joking, but I'm kind of liking them. Dude, that's cool. I got a VCR. Who doesn't have a VCR? <laughs> uh, it was six bucks though. No remote, but it seems like it's in fair condition. And Oak City Gamers, I'm at your Goodwill. And I got your VCR. You missed out. Tough luck. Tough luck. Yeah. We've been meaning to pick one of these yeah. up anyway, so. The things I found were, of course, toys. So the first thing I found was this lovely red dragon here, because y'all know how much I love my dragons. But uh, this is Quagmire. I have named him Quagmire, and if you'd like to know why... Hey, I have a dragon. Geek, geek, geek me. Geek, geek, geek. Alright. Isn't he fun? A pirate ship? Because pirates are cool. The pirate ship is pretty cool. I really liked it. Um, just because I love pirates and I thought it would be fun to put my little action figures and stuff on it But the sales go up and down 
there's a boardwalk that comes out there's a trap door that lets you down into the galley there is a um, anchor that goes out and comes back in and then it's got some uh, cannon ports so it just I thought it was really neat it has a whole bunch of stuff on it and it was only three dollars and pieces like this by the way are always a lot of fun to put in your toy room and use as display for some of your figures mm -hmm. Now it was Gaming Off The Grid's turn to try out a store. They had found a place called Arch City Games, and this was a very fun game store. Mm -hmm. I'm not tall enough. <laughs> he had a good variety of stuff, and personally what I really loved seeing there was all of the retro stuff. We're talking video games that were on, like the audio cassette looking format. Yeah. as well as some um, great boxed systems like mm -hmm. the Odyssey 2. You had an Atari 400 just hanging out there. So a lot of fun retro goodness for me. And of course I wasn't left out because in the front there was a whole bunch of board games. So I got to look at a whole bunch of new tabletop games that I had never seen before. And I, was, I put them in my list so that I could look them up later and see if there was something I was interested in. The owner of the store, he did tip us off about a little something happening across the street. And it was a toy convention. And did I light up at that word? <laughs> Let's just say we were like, yeah! And Tom like, and Lacey, and they were both like, yeah! Now, let me just start off by saying this toy convention was pretty impressive, worth its own video. So that's exactly what we're going to do. In the meantime, I definitely want to hear some comments about any of the stuff that we picked up, uh, whether it's any of the beers, any of the, uh, you know, Fun little games, mm -hmm. the Nintendo Powers or magazines, comics and toys. You can tell me who she is. And what I really want to know is, do any of you get a chance to go out and do some game hunting, mm -hmm. toy hunting with your friends? Maybe even con friends. Because I really, really do like that part yes. of the one day convention of Mo Game Con. The fact that we had this time. Yeah. The only sad part is uh, Cap had a long drive, so he didn't get to join us either Saturday night or, of course, Sunday morning. But it would have been so much it fun, been fun to have yeah. everyone there. And maybe next time, maybe the next convention, we'll be able to put that together. Well, we've got some toys to go through. Again, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that you can see all the closer upper pictures so that you know where we're going. And you can head over to Tee Public and get our merchandise and nerdlings, if we like it. We nerd it. Because you're like, I'm trying to cut right there. And then we come back. And that's what you sound like. Hmm. <laughs> we'll just go check out Slackers and then meet them up later for dinner. Hold for dog dying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did, and we, on our way to dinner the first night, we passed a, go, a come and no, not a come and go. Okay, ready? Yep. On our first night there, when we went to what? Well, <laughs> Try one more time. <laughs> okay, you ready? Now, Tom, if you're good, you'll go get that gaming off the grid video and like splice that quick clip in there. What, is, what did you think when Ryan and I were wrestling last night? So, uh, yeah, too bad it's not recording. I don't know why.